boss, Tion and Nolan spotted baby Charles off the break. His face had got fat and he grew a little big, but without a shadow of a doubt, that was baby Charles. They both turned and looked at each other like, that's yo? And right while baby Charles is walking and talking with his Muslim brothers, he looks up and out his peripheral vision, he spots Tion and Nolan, ice grilling them. The shit caught him so off guard he had to double take. Knowing that they wasn't on good terms, knowing that Tion and Nolan felt some type of way, instead of going over and hollering at him, he look away and keep walking with the Muslim brothers. Now, I remind you, the whole time Tion and Nolan was locked up, he was uptown doing his thing, and they was hearing all about it. When niggas come in off the street, they had boy Baby Charles out there doing their thing. So they was well aware of his come up, and they also knew he came up off their money. But anyway... Being his door was mass movement and a bunch of COs out there in the hallway, Tiana and Nolan did the same thing, kept it pushing with the good brothers when they went to the cafeteria. But the whole time, Tiana and Nolan, they walking and talking like, man, what the fuck this nigga doing in here? Nolan like, I don't know, but if he here, he must have done something crazy. Because they thinking because he in the maximum security jail, he done caught a body or something like that. Not even knowing, he just dead because it's overcrowded in the system. The whole time they was in the cafeteria eating, they couldn't take their eyes off this nigga. What a fucking coincidence. He ended up in the same spot as them. In the same way they was watching him, he was watching them too. So when baby Charles was over the city jail, he was over there catching and getting a couple of dollars. So naturally when he got packed up to go in the system, when he got packed up and sent in that cut, he brought a bunch of dope with him, smuggled it in. So the whole time he in the cafeteria, he got niggas coming up to him, whispering in his ear. If you know, you know, that's plays hollering at him. So T on them, they see what's going on. And they feel like that's they shit he's selling. So H don't get sent back before F. So when they get back on the tail, they decide to write the situation up and run it through the proper channels of protocol. Being as though this nigga Charles walking around with a kufi on, if they just leap into action, it could possibly start a war. So T on and Nolan, they write the situation up. Give it to the good brother Lonzo to send through protocol. End up the chain of command. Lonzo dudes what he's supposed to do, holler at the big, big brothers. But after waiting on a response for over a week, they didn't get the response they was looking for. The big, big brothers sent them a kite basically saying, stand down on that situation. Because after they all reviewed it, they felt like because you didn't say he told on you, you didn't try to kill you uptown or nothing like that. You didn't say he did harm to your family. Therefore, they don't see a need to start a major war because he left y'all hanging. But in that kite, the big brothers did say that baby Charles owed them half of the money. So they was like, give him a deadline to pay that money back. And if he don't pay, then we'll consider this situation again. And in all actuality, reading that, to Tion and Nolan was like a breath of fresh air. Because $2,000 can go a long way for them. They was trying to get back in court, and that was a start. So they tell the good brother Lonzo to tell the big, big brothers they going to get on top of that ASAP. Now, this is 1998 in that Maryland House of Corrections. Walking around with a $2,000 debt? That ain't something you can keep a secret. Motherfuckers get to talk. You get to look more and more like sliced bread. <laughs> but anyway, now being as though baby Charles knew him, T on the Nolan wasn't on good terms, he start asking around doing his homework. And kind of find out Tion and Nolan is good brothers. Hearing this set off alarms and sent shockwaves through his body. Because now he know he ain't just dealing with them two. He thought by becoming Muslim, he would have the upper hand if he ran into them. But now shit looking iffy. He find this out. He get to going around asking his Muslim brothers for a knife. And telling any Sunni Muslim brother that would listen about his situation with Tion and Nolan. Because now paranoia starting to set in. All right, boom. So the next day, Tion and Nolan hit the big yard early for morning yard. The good brothers had mandatory workout. All 200 and something members had to get it in, whether you was doing weights, running laps, calisthenics. It was a good brother out there watching, making sure everybody was getting it in. And if you wasn't, then you subject to discipline. So needless to say, the brothers was out there getting it in. Now, when they let F building out in the yard, Tion and Nolan was posted up on a handball court watching, waiting for baby Charles to come in the yard. 